Yes. Thank, thank all of you guys so much for coming out today. I know it's a long day, but um, we here in parish government and all of our elected officials, we made a commitment to do this every year. Rain or shine, we're going to be here. Um, last year we tried it in the morning before the reflection. That was a little too early, so we figured we'd, we would deal with the heat a little bit. And this is so important to our parish that this commitment um, stays as it is, and we make sure that we memorialize uh, the victims of Hurricane Katrina. And that's why we're here today, um, to pray for their families and pray for them. I do want to recognize Representative Edmonds is here today. Thank you so much for coming today. I want to thank our sheriff, our council members, Montalongo and Alcon, for being here and supporting this event because it is so important to us. We want to start out with our invocation. Reverend Wong, from pastor from St. Bernard Catholic Church. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning to everyone. And on behalf of all of us, I would like to thank our St. Bernard government officials to make this commitment to commemorate uh, the Katrina hurricane for all of us, whether it's wet, or hot, or cold, uh, we have committed to do so in honor of our loved ones, especially those who lost their lives for Katrina. And so we invoke the Lord to continue to bless us and to protect us always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your blessings, your gift in our land here that you have given to our forefathers and for all of us to dwell, to cultivate, to make it fruitful and to make it our lives meaningful. But as you know, 13 years ago, Hurricane Katrina came and devastated our land, destroyed our livelihood, and also took lives of our loved ones. As today we gather in good faith, asking for your love, for your protection, especially those who lost their lives during Katrina. May you rest their souls in your peace and heavenly, in heavenly homeland. And we also pray for all of us who will remain and continue to build up our lives and to cultivate our land and also to make our lives fruitful and meaningful. We ask for your protections and for your care. We beg for your love to save us from our harms and our loss of properties and lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And also gathering of our, all of our prayers and praises this day, let us pray together the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Before we do our national anthem, I do want to uh, thank our fire department. They're here today, and we have some deputies here today. Uh, Acadian is represented here today, too. You know, you guys meant so much to our community during this time. And I know the families appreciate everything that you guys um, did then and continue to do. So thank you guys. To sing our national anthem, St. Bernard Parish government employee, Melissa Carter. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night 
that a flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the lands and of the free and the home of the brave. Wow. Thank you, Melissa. I also want to thank uh, Henry Matry and his crew for keeping out of the sun, and that was because of his guys and all you do. Good thing with the, with the flag here, pulling that out of your hat at the end. Thank you and your guys for all you do for, for us during the year also. At this time, we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance by John Ram, our Director of Homeland Security. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we will have the reading of the names of the victims of Hurricane Katrina by our council members. Mani Batalango and Wanda Alcon. Bertha Acosta, Hollis Alford, Angela Alvio, Evelyn Ancor, Douglas Arsenault, Betty Arsenault, Joseph Banks. Lillian Banta, Walter Barcelona, Carmen Bennett, Lucille Besnard, Sarah Bosnard, Eugenie Ball, Eunice Bro, Joseph Brosset, Thomas Burke, Evelyn Burns, Benny Butler Jr. Leroy Butler, Robert J. Carey, Frank Chambers, Charles Chapetta, Harold Cords, Walter Cose, Adil Cousins, Ned Cuvion, Francis Cox, Irene Daigle, Mary Dawson, Rosemary Davis, Robert Delafos, Zerelda Delat, Alan Dulane, Jane Denley, Agnes De Pasquale, Rita Drury, Guyomar Duarte. Edward Pete Dugas, Harrison A. Duhon, Loveless Dupuy, Patsy Eaton, Mary Ellis, Ro Russell Embry, Joan Emerson, Helen Farenholtz, Irvin Fozand, John Farzan, Maxine Freshenhertz, Joyce Fonseca, Brenda Fontaine, Charles Gagliano, Shelley Gagliano, Arthur Galatas, Tufanio Galadoro, Mario Gardner, Catherine Goodwin, Thelma Goodwin, Mary Gorges, Rita Green, William Gregg, George Grunick, Eura Gertner, Shirley Hortigen, 
Wilbur A. Abair Jr., Rosemary Herndon, Dorothy Hingle, George Ewart, Alice Hutzler, Myrtle Jackson, Virginia James, Georgia Jenkins, Joseph Jenkins, Mabel Johnson, Josephine Johnson, Vicki Jordan, Martha Kaminsky, John Kessner, Iris Knight, Mildred Kramer, Edith Krennerich, Harold Kurtz, Laura Lay, Helen Lahr, Mary Labatt, Gladys LeBlanc, Mary Lynn, Dominic Lyusa, Aurelie Lobry, Todd J. Lopez, Shirley Lott, Harry Luros, Peggy Mahaney, Joseph Major, William Manson, Shirley Mares, August Modelowicz, Joyce McGuire, Lucille Mellorine, Shirley Meyer, Earl Meyer, Helen Meyer, Arthur Miller. Helen Montalbano, Lorette Morales, Curtis Morrow, Stephen Musgrove, Matthew Mahoborak, Jr., Joel C. Mumphrey, Francis Navis, Denise Newman, William Newt, Janet Parker, Carol Parr, Norman Parr, Gregory Petrolia, Richard Petrolia, Helen Perrett, Rosemary Pino, Emile Poisonot, Glenn Rambo, Gladys Randall, Janet Rashkin, Richard Rasick, Rufus Rivers, Rebecca Rourke, Linda Robin, Eva Rodrigue, Elizabeth Ross, Bernie Shravino, John Russell, Georgia Ryan, Van Ryan, Darlene Saya, Antonia Sanfilippo, Rosemary Savoy, Anna Schreiber, Dolores Skiro, Cynthia Skiro, Jake Skiro Jr., Henry Seifker, David C. Selby, Mary Simpson, Louise Sires, Matthew Smallwood, Freddie Smith, Carol Spano, Robert Spinks, Henry Stafford Sr., Marion Stearns, John Sullivan, Alvin Swan, Dorothy Taguino, Charlie Taylor, Michael Thomason, Donna Tomopoulos, George Torrance, Mary Ann Trenacosta, Anne Marie Urquhart, Almeida Verrett, Inez Vidrios, Mary Wagner, Thelma Wall, Lawrence William, Gloria Young. At this time, we would like all family members of those victims of Hurricane Katrina, please come up, and we will have the laying of the wreath. And guys, we're going to go right around here, if y'all want to follow.
From Reverend Colton Campbell, Senior, Pastor, First Asia Baptist Church. Dear God, we come this morning thanking you. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, what brought us this far. Thank God for the Paris government, presidents, councilmen, councilwomen. We thank God for each and every one at the sound of my voice. And then, Lord, we thank you for all those whose names have been called today. We thank you for their memories. We're going to thank on their memories as long as we have breath. And, Lord, we thank you now for this parish and the thing that we are doing for each and every one. So we pray now that we bless each and every one at the sound of my voice. And Lord, we thank you now, but as we leave this place, but never ever from your presence, we pray that you give us traveling grace. We thank you for all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you guys for coming out. Next year at this time, we will be here in the same place doing the same thing. And we would like to invite all of the family members to our reflection breakfast that the school board gives every year at 8.30. We will um, put a table together. We'll sit you guys there, and we'll make sure you have transportation to and from this ceremony. Thank everyone for coming, and remember these 164 names that we read off today. Thank you.